This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. While you're waiting for the engine to cool, check the new plugs for defects. The gap is checked by inserting the proper thickness gauge between the electrodes at the tip of the plug. Spark plug manufacturers recommend using a wire type gauge when checking the gap. The gauge should just slide between the electrodes with a slight amount of drag. If the gap is incorrect, replace the plug with a new one that has the correctly specified gap. Also, check for cracks in the porcelain insulator. If any are found, the plug should not be used. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Lift the hood safety latch and raise the hood upwards. Then support it with the prop rod. Loosen the cable clamp nut. Then disconnect the negative battery cable from the terminal. Secure the cable aside to prevent accidental reconnection. Disconnect the manifold air pressure sensor electrical connector. Detach the harness from the bracket. It may also help to disconnect the power brake booster vacuum hose. Disconnect the ignition coil electrical connectors and release the wiring harness from its bracket. Loosen and remove the coil mounting bolts. Pull the coils off the spark plugs, noting their locations for correct installation. If compressed air is available, use it to blow any dirt or foreign material away from the spark plug holes. The idea here is to eliminate the possibility of debris falling into the cylinder as the spark plugs are removed. Place a spark plug socket over the plug and remove it from the engine by turning it counterclockwise. Repeat for the remaining plugs. Apply an anti-seize compound to the threads of the new plugs to facilitate future removal. Thread the new plugs into the hole until they can no longer be turned with your fingers. It's a good idea to slip a short length of rubber hose over the end of the plug to use as a tool to thread it into place. Particularly if the cylinder head is made of aluminum. The hose will grip the plug well enough to turn it, but will start to slip if the plug begins to cross thread into the hole. This will prevent damaged threads and the accompanying repair costs. Tighten the spark plugs to the specified torque setting. Install the ignition coils onto the spark plugs. Install and tighten the coil mounting bolt securely. 
Connect the coil electrical connectors and secure the coil wiring harness into the brackets. Connect the power brake booster vacuum hose and secure the hose with a clamp. Connect the manifold air pressure sensor electrical connector. Attach the harness into the bracket. Connect the negative battery cable to the terminal and tighten the cable clamp nut securely.